Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to get custom themes on your Nintendo Switch. So obviously, I have been having a bit of problems with my Nintendo Switch videos because Nintendo have taken um, some of them down, mainly the SXOS ones. So I will have to be a bit careful in this video with what I can show you. Um, but yeah, guys, they've pretty much just been abusing their power. If you haven't already noticed, I put out a few comments about it on my community tab. But anyway, for this video, I will be showing you guys how to get custom themes. So I've already got one applied right now. This is actually a Pokemon Pokeball theme, so I really like it. Really nice, simple design, and I will be showing you guys how to do it. So the first thing you want to do if your Nintendo Switch is turned on is just hold the power button for a few seconds until this menu pops up. Go to power options and go to power off. Right, so when your Nintendo Switch is off, we are going to take out the SD card. Now there's just another thing to keep in mind. This works with Renix, um, Atmosphere, and he Kate. So if you don't use any of those custom firmwares, um, it probably doesn't work. I don't know about SXOS, it probably doesn't work on that. But anyway, let's just take out the SD card. And now we can just connect our SD card to our PC. Right guys, so the link to the custom themes will be in the description of this video and there's a really good GPA temp page for it. So it has an introduction, credits, and it also explains how they managed to get it working. So what we're interested in is the releases. So all of the themes are released on their Discord server. So you just click this link, join, and you can download as many themes as you want. Now, I can't show that in the video, otherwise Nintendo are just going to be twats and they'll probably take it down. Um, but basically, I've already went and downloaded a theme. There's also pictures here for themes, um, so you can see what they look like. And they actually look really cool. Some of them um, do other things and some of them rearrange the apps and stuff like this one and they actually look really good so I've really went and downloaded a theme I've got a Pokemon theme right here in my downloads folder so what you would do is just once you've got um, the zip file right click and select extract here now it's going to give you this really weird file with a load of numbers on it so all you would do is right click and copy that now go onto your Nintendo Switch SD card find the custom firmware that you're using I'm using Renex go inside of that folder go inside the titles folder and right click and paste that folder in here it's as simple as that guys now your custom theme is should be working uh, keep in mind you can only have one theme at a time but apart from that um, they actually look pretty cool so now you can disconnect your SD card from your PC and I will show you guys what to do over on the switch Right, so once you're back off your computer, you can now go and power on your Nintendo Switch. Obviously, well, you will need to boot into your custom firmware. I can't show you how to do that because otherwise Nintendo are just going to strike the video. So I'm just booting into the Renix custom firmware. So here we are guys on Renix and as you can see the theme is actually installed ready. We can notice that the A button is now red so you can't have multiple themes on at once and maybe they will update this on the future but here is the theme working perfectly fine. Now you're probably, what's, uh, you're probably wondering what happens if I go into system settings and go down to theme in here. So let's take a look. So all it has is two themes, um, Pokey Light or Pokey Dark so it doesn't list all the themes you have. I can switch it to light mode and just go back and it's just going to look like this. Personally, maybe light mode looks a bit better with this theme. So that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm not too sure how many more Nintendo Switch videos I can do, um, you know, without getting in trouble for it. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.